Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to talk about foolproof gardenias from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Uh, this is another one of B uh, Buddy Lee's uh, many introductions into the uh, plant world. Uh, I grew uh, frostproof gardenia for, I don't know, 10 plus years uh, at my nursery and, and propagated tens of thousands of them every year. So I'm extremely familiar uh, with frostproof gardenias and you guys may be too. It's been around for a long time. It gets three to four feet by three to four feet. Perfect little dome exactly what foolproof uh, does foolproof though has a slightly smaller leaf the leaf is not quite as long it still has the long narrow leaf or a, a narrow leaf but it's slightly smaller it's more compact um, i think the uh, the leaf nodes along the stems are a little closer together uh, which means the leaves end up just kind of more uh, uh, not as stretched out as much on the stems and so it ends up with a much fuller a uh, much fuller look uh, to it Still has the uh, white uh, fragrant double flowers on it and uh, bl blooms profusely, blooms very heavily in the spring. And then you'll get residual flowers during the summer. And then um, in the fall, depending on how long fall goes, you can almost get an entire rebloom uh, on Frostproof. That's always been my experience with it. These are hardy in zone seven to 10. Uh, they're evergreen, shiny dark green foliage. It's you know, kind of hard to miss. Um, you know, hard to miss with a gardenia. They can be somewhat finicky in uh, clay soils, for sure. You got to know what you're dealing with. Sometimes when we have clay soils and we want to mound these up, um, you know, a little bit when we plant them and uh, don't keep them uh, too wet. So I'm filming this uh, at the end of October, almost November. So it's not in flower uh, right now, but you can see the uh, double flowers there uh, on the uh, tag. Of course, like I said, they're super fragrant. I forget sometimes how many of you are dealing with deer problems. And gardenias are a great choice for those of you with, uh, with deer issues, as most, a lot of fragrant plants um, uh, are a good call if you have deer issues. And that can be anything from herbs to shrubs that have, uh, have uh, scented flowers. Um, most of those things are going to be deer resistant normally. But look how compact this plant is. It's really amazing. And like I said, you know, I think the main, main difference here is how, how the leaf nodes are just closer together. And so... That just kind of puts more leaves on the plant. Uh, it'll get, again, three to four feet by three to four feet. Perfect little dome. Kind of a, um, this is a great foundation plant if you have windows that are about three, three and a half feet high. Uh, this is going to be a full sun uh, to part shade uh, plant. And uh, I think in the deep shade, it ended up stretching out quite a bit. Uh, and uh, I've had, I had a neighbor um, with a, uh, with frostproof on the west side of its foundation for years, and I thought it was going to be too much sun, and they held up great. And I'm assuming that uh, foolproof will be uh, very similar to that if you have an extremely hot place that you're dealing with. But this is a foolproof gardenia from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future content.